Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I'm Nikki, the Pink Moon Tarotist, and I am here to do a general reading for the month of May for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign of Pisces. Now, as I said, this is a general reading, so not everything will resonate with you. So please do feel free to pick up anything that does and leave the rest behind. And if you know your Moon, your Rising or your Venus, you can always check out those videos to see if anything resonates within you with those. They will all be linked in the description box below this video, as will all the ways that you can contact me if you would like a private reading. Now, while I'm shuffling the deck and getting things ready, if you would like to like, share and subscribe to my channel, that would be very much appreciated. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means the world to me and really helps me to grow my channel, as I'm still quite new. Okay, so without further ado, let's point the camera down. I'm sure you'd rather look at the cards than me and see what's going on for my lovely Pisces. So Pisces May. Pisces May. Thank you. We have the Page of Swords. I'm going to take that one. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Hermit. Oh, that's the first time the Hermit's appeared in these readings for this month. Interesting. Haha, <laughs> caught that with my leg. We have the Four of Pentacles and we have Death and Rebirth. not panic when death comes up it just means something coming to an end we have the four of wands we have the ten of cups and we have the moon as to my lovely pisces need to know please Okay, we have the King of Cups and our overall energy here is the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups, this is the card of nostalgia, the card of looking back across your past and um, seeing it. Oh, look, the Queen of Cups is there on the bottom of the deck to go with her king. Sorry. Um, so the, <laughs> the Six of Cups is here to um to remind you of a few things you know one is your your past the things that you you are nostalgic for the things that you're looking back on with fond memories it may also be that someone from your past is coming back to bring you a message and the reason i say that is because we have the page of swords here now i'll get to that in a moment but the Six of Cups, you know, like I say, it's that feeling of nostalgia, that, that past energy, something from your past that is coming into your present in some way, okay? And it may be a person from your past bringing you a message. We have the Page of Swords. Pages are messengers, but the Page of Swords is especially a messenger because it is air energy and air energy is all about communication. So this is new communication, new information coming in. This is new knowledge, new understanding, new ideas. So it may be that someone from your past is coming to you with a new idea, a new bit of inspiration, a new little nugget of knowledge for you that maybe will help you to slot things into place so be on the lookout for that that message coming in it could come in in any way it could be you know a face-to-face -face thing it could be social media but there is going to be some kind of connection made that is going to bring you that little nugget of knowledge and it's going to come in fairly quickly because we have the eight of wands next to that OK, and the eight of wands, eights are all about movement and the eight of wands is 
that rapid movement. It's that card of warp speed, you know, things coming in quickly, things coming in with purpose. And it's something that may send you into a little bit of a spin. And the reason I say that is because next to that, we have the Hermit card. So the Hermit card is here to say that you may need to go into a state of solitude for a little while to remove yourself from um, from the, the world of social media or just the world in general and just take time to go within and really process what you have learnt, what information you have gleaned here. And you may want to really reflect upon things that you have learnt, reflect upon what you want, reflect upon what you're going to do with that information. And when you are ready, you can come back out of that cave and shine your light on the world, share that knowledge with the world, share that information, share what you have discovered about you or about whatever you are getting that information on. You know, um, so it, it is a new idea that is coming in very quickly and something that you will then need to just pause for a little bit, you know, to kind of pause that momentum and go within to discover what you want to do with that information. OK. Hope that makes sense. And then underneath that page of swords, we also have the four of pentacles. Now, the four of pentacles, this is the card of investing, saving, looking towards your future. So this page of swords that's coming in, this new information that's coming in, may be something that makes you consider your future and makes you consider what you're going to do with your future. OK, and, you know, it may be that you have some kind of investment opportunity. Um, I'm not saying take it or don't take it, okay? If you are looking at investing any money, please take professional advice. But something that, you know, you need to be planning for your future here, something that is, that is about you making bank, putting away something for the future, being very cautious with your money here, okay? And underneath that Eight of Wands, we have the Death and Rebirth card. Like I say, something is going to happen that is going to shake you a little bit. Something is coming to an end, but out of endings come new beginnings. And this may take you by surprise and send you into hermit mode. But trust me when I say that the results will be worth it. And you'll see why in a minute. But the the death and rebirth card is here to say, you know, something is going to have to come to an end. But out of that, something new and wonderful is going to be born. Now, death and rebirth doesn't always mean that something wonderful is going to be born out of it. But in this instance, I believe it does. And I really feel that. Because next to that, we have the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands is the card of celebration. It's the card of joy. It's also the portal card. You know, it's the 1111, the, the portal to another realm, the, the, the transference from one state to another, death and rebirth, if you like, going from one place to another place through the portal. It is that card of reaching that state of joy and celebration. So whatever whatever comes to an end, whatever information you are going to glean, whatever you have decided upon during your hermit time, you can come through it with joy and celebration on the other side. You know, it's that straddling of the two worlds. It's the, uh, you know, it, it's the 3D and the 5D. It's the it's the, the between worlds kind of feeling that you get when you've got one foot in one thing and one foot in another. But you you know that you have to go through and complete that journey. 
which is where the death comes in because you have to leave something behind in order to go forth to something new. And underneath that death and rebirth, we also have the moon. Now, the moon is a mirror. This is a mirror to you, to your soul. What is above is below. It is that duality. It is that fluidity of water. It is the hidden truths, the unknown. It is tapping into that cosmic energy and discovering the hidden truths. Something will be something needs to be revealed here something needs to be discovered and when it is that's when that death and that rebirth will take place and that going through to the point of celebration will also take place and i love that this is leading to the ten of cups here that union that joy that bringing together that love, that literal over the rainbow feeling. The Ten of Cups is your cups overflowing, you know, getting that abundance of joy, of love, of energy, of everything that you want. It is that over the rainbow feeling, you know, that um, just pure joy. And that is there waiting for you on the other side of that death and rebirth. And I love that. And we also end with the King of Cups. And the King of Cups, you know, this, this is your energy, Pisces. You know, it's it's that watery energy of the, the very fatherly, caring, loving, giving, generous, intuitive king. You know, he is so connected to his intuition. He is so connected to the world that he feels the cosmos around him, you know, and and uh, and just that that sense, like I say again, of pure joy, of satisfaction, of being home, you know. So it's it's a really beautiful energy, and there is nothing particularly negative about what's going on here, and with all this kind of. You know, it, it's funny that you have that rapidity of the eight of wands and then the hermit, you know, so it's like coming in fast and then stop. But that stop moment, that pause moment is necessary in order to see where you need to be investing your time, your energy, your emotions and to see what you need to be releasing and letting go of with that death and that rebirth. Now, you may not get a choice about the death and rebirth. It may be something that is that is forced upon you. But with that moon energy there, again, this is Piscean energy as well. You know, it's that watery energy. There is that, that sense of, of something greater going on beneath the surface here. So let's have a little look. I want to have a look at, yeah, let's have a look at that Hermit card. Can you clarify the Hermit card, please? Oof, oof. Okay. We clarify the Hermit with the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Wow. Okay. Mr. Romance, bringing you love bringing you joy, bringing you love of yourself as well as romantic love and the nine of cups, the universe wanting to give you your heart's desire. So take the time to figure out what that is. Take the time to love yourself, to care for yourself and open your heart to receiving the gifts that the universe has for you. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's take a look at this. Mm, yeah, let's take a look at death and rebirth. And we have the six of wands. You see, Carter stepping into the spotlight. Celebration. 
Death and Rebirth is next to the Four of Wands, the card of celebration. This, this Death and Rebirth moment is going to be a reason to celebrate. Wow. Okay, let's have a look at the Moon card. What are we hiding here? What are we needing to find out? Have a look at this moon card, please. Your cards are going, no, you can't have a look at the moon card. <laughs> Way off. Well, that just leapt out. The sun. It will get illuminated. Okay. Wow. The moon reflects the sun. That's where its light comes from. The moon is being clarified by the sun. It's going to get illuminated. The joy is coming. This is the say yes card. Wow. Wow, Pisces. What are you saying yes to? My goodness. Okay, I'm going to take a... I'm going to take a Starseed Oracle. These are um, Rebecca Campbell. Let's look and see. What can we tell my lovely Pisces? You can tell them I can't shuffle. Oh, you'd think after all this time I would get better at shuffling. I still throw them all over the floor. Okay, what did we turn over there? Lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. Wow. Okay. That says it all. And loosen your grip. Coping mechanisms, density, addiction. Let God in opening your heart let's take a work your light oracle these are also rebecca gamble <laughs> and we get yes just say yes we had the sun card which is the yes card and now we have yes in the oracle cards so you've got something to say yes to this month, Pisces. Wow. I'm going to take a Wisdom of the Hidden Realms for you. Go and lie down, Piper. Sorry, my dog's nails on a wooden floor. Very annoying. Maybe we're not going to have a Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Anything for my Pisces? Hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we'll take that one then. The Winged Wise One. Angelic Help and Miraculous Aid. Oh, I love this card. Miraculous aid. Oh, my goodness. Let's take a... Yeah, let's take a magical mermaids and dolphins for you. These are Dorian Virtue. Ooh. And we get worthiness. And know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. Yes, Pisces, you are worthy. Anything else, my lovely Pisces? Ooh, and a soulmate relationship. New romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. Wow. 
Wow, maybe that's what you need to say yes to, Pisces. Um, I'm going to take a Wisdom of the Oracle, actually. Anything else for my lovely Pisces? Ooh, and we have Regeneration. month of regeneration love it out of the ashes of the old comes something new and better death and rebirth regeneration Whew. okay let's take a layer let's take a life changes card the butterfly oracle adoring virtue Ooh. <laughs> and we have sentimental feelings there's your six of cups sentimental feelings what are they about what are you feeling nostalgic for too many and we have heavenly signs Look for the heavenly signs. They're there to guide you using your intuition. Looking for those heavenly signs. Wow. Okay, I am going to take a healing with the fairies, I think. And we have inner power. And look at that, she sat on the moon. Yes, tap into your inner power. Wow. And we have beauty. See the beauty in your life and in others and in yourself. Love that. And finally, let's take a healing with the angels and then I'm going to close the reading. This has been quite a short reading, but that's because it was very direct. <laughs> we have the card of friendship. So your friends will be important to you this month. I have got to stop throwing cards across the floor. <laughs> and we have new beginnings and new love. Wow. Wow. Okay, Pisces. Looks like an exciting month ahead for you. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, please do drop me a comment in the comment box below. Looks like an exciting and wonderful month ahead for you. Please do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, namaste.